morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. <laughs> Did you just think I was talking to you? <laughs> I've spent most of the morning, not most, this is what I did. I worked, I breakfast, I worked out, I showered, and I edited the vlog. So I've been filming for the past few days on what I've been doing, and it's basically just seeing apartments and eating. It's the same things over and over again, and I even eat the same foods over and over again, which you've seen in many of my vlogs before, because that's what I do. When I like something, I eat it or buy it or wear it or do it over and over again. So after editing, I just felt really bored because to be honest, it's so boring. Like at the beginning, I was like, yeah, real estate. This is gonna be fun to show you guys real estate in a new part of the world, but, and I pictured like million dollar listing, but vlog style, but when it, when it comes down to it, it's literally just viewing white walls with different colored um, wood flooring because there's no furniture or anything in the house so you can't look at different decor and different style which when I think about it is really what I love about million dollar list listing or, or um, real estate shows is like seeing the way people decorate and I, I'm more nosy I like to see the way people live and the things they have in their house and the way they decorate rather than just the plain walls and the flooring so to be honest it's boring. I feel bored myself just looking at apartments. I feel bored editing myself looking at apartments and I don't want to push that boredom onto YouTube and onto you guys. So I think I'm just not going to release that. I'm going to start off today fresh and new. We are not doing anything today. So I don't really know what we're going to do today. Today is two things. One, it's Canada Day. It's the 1st of July, which is Canada's birthday. So happy Canada Day. That's why I'm in my red. Canada, Canada, Canada colors are white and red, so I've got my red shirt on. Today also marks the 20th anniversary of when um, Hong Kong was handed over to China. So there is a fireworks celebration tonight, which we will be viewing. We're gonna have dinner and fireworks, which works out great because on this day in Canada, I would also be celebrating it with dinner with my family and watching fireworks. My town always throws fireworks. I think every town, basically has fireworks or something or you can watch it on TV for Canada Day. So yeah, that kind of coincides. So first off, right now we are, we want to go to the bookstore and get some books, some knowledge, some more substance in our heads. So we're going to do that. <laughs> you've reached the ripe age of adulthood when you're looking at home and living magazines. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Here you can't see what's inside the magazines because of this plastic wrap, but I think I'm gonna grab this one too because I follow Chrissy on Twitter and I love her tweets. I think she's hilarious. So I wanna read more about her. And I'm also interested in this article here, this right here, the breath becomes air. Yeah, I read it. I have it at home, it's really good. Whenever I see these, I think of my mom. She used to always, or she still does, always get these. I'm not quite there just yet. I'm like almost there. I'm in this stage. I should get this for today. What did you find? <laughs> the subtle art of stop keeping I got this one. Remember that video? Oh, the it's her life story. story. Yeah. <laughs> So I got the Vogue Australia interior design and this Mary Claire, like I said. And then the books I chose are this one. Her video, her speech video went viral on Facebook and many things. You guys might recognize her. It's her, her she used to live in North Korea and it's her biography. And I got this one. This one was number one. It looks really interesting. It talks about the beginning of mankind. And the author says that there was six species of humans at the beginning and then only one survived, the Homo sapiens. So it seems really interesting. My boyfriend got these which I'm also really interested in reading, so we're gonna share this. Oh, it was Elon Musk's birthday yesterday, I think. And she also got this, which I'm also interested in reading. So we have the same interest. We got different things, but we like to read each other's books, like he's reading the one I chose now. So we can share. 
We're just sitting in Starbucks right now. We're gonna grab a coffee and read some books. We're both gonna try this Ristretto Bianco. Never tried that, so I'm not sure what to expect. hotel now um, some of you I forgot to mention some of you might be wondering or you're probably not wondering but why are you suddenly in a different <laughs> in a different shirt but uh, since we're just chilling out here and I had like five hours to go until dinner I decided to just put on something more casual and comfy and I'm because I was wearing this like long skirt which you will see later but anyways um, yeah we're back in the hotel I'm going to eat my soup and start reading this book I have to say lately we've been really into watching documentaries and the books I tend to look at or things I tend to read are either people's biographies or like non-fiction stuff, like stuff on a particular subject that is true. I just, I want to learn more or read more about people's life experiences now. I really, really enjoy listening to podcasts and stuff about people's lives and things they've learned or things they've done. And um, yeah, or learning new things through people's experiences. So I'm very much looking forward to jumping into this book. Oh my God. They have like no, what if they fall? That's crazy. They have nothing holding them up. We should get out and do La La Land. We're on our way to dinner now. We're going to TST to a restaurant called Hutong. Hutong. I'm over a hundred pages into this now and it is so good. I can't put it down so I brought it with me. But yeah, I highly recommend this book. It's a really, really interesting read. And yeah, so we have dinner reservations at 7.30. We're heading there quite early, like 6.30 because the roads are completely packed with traffic and then a lot of them are closed for the fireworks at like seven o'clock. So we gotta get there early. Fireworks are gonna start at eight. So we're gonna see them during dinner and <laughs> it's very exciting, we're stuck in traffic. And our taxi driver is not happy. <laughs> This is the traffic scene. It's crazy. We just got out of the taxi to walk the rest of the way because we're never going to make it in time for the fireworks. in the water here. They're the ones that are gonna shoot up the fireworks. So it's all across the harbor. So everyone gets views like on both sides. So now we're on Kowloon side. Hong Kong's made up of three main islands. That's Hong Kong side over there. This is Kowloon side.
It was so nice. It was too bad it started raining in the middle of it. But um, Hong Kong is definitely the best place in the world to see fireworks. They always put on a really good show here. And they like. I really like the way they make pictures in the fireworks. I, I haven't seen that in any other countries. Maybe you guys have, but like, you, I saw things like hearts and happy faces and butterflies and the number 20 written. Sometimes they spell out um, Chinese characters too, so it's really cool to see. But yeah, now we're gonna start eating dinner. Good morning everybody and welcome to Sunday's vlog. Um, it's a very mysterious looking day today. It looks like a storm is brewing in the sky and we are currently on our way to grab some lunch. We're going for pizza. I'm super excited about that and uh, yeah. Outfit wise today, I don't know how I feel about this dress anymore. I liked the idea of it when I bought it. It looked good on the model it's from Style Nanda. But now that I have it on, I feel like I kind of look, I don't know, I kind of look like I'm going to a funeral or something. Like the shape, it's like, I don't know, the shape, the cut, the color, everything all together. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna wear it anyways, it's comfy. I guess I'm gonna wear it anyway because I'm in the car. It's not like I'm just gonna get naked here and then go and eat pizza. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it is a funeral for my diet. It's a funeral for my abs. <laughs> Baby, didn't laugh at my joke. Get it? It's a funeral for my abs today. Ha 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 ha. Do you get it though? Because I'm eating pizza and I'm eating a lot of calories Whoa. and my abs are gonna die. <laughs> Actually, I don't even have abs to begin with, so. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now, bye. <laughs> Thing. Feels like we're walking in a giant cloud. It's so wet here. It's so humid. It's like cloud. There's a place we're going for lunch. Right here. No, it's actually good because my Wi-Fi doesn't work because I don't want a big phone bill so I switched off my phone onto airplane mode so I don't have Wi-Fi or like no one can talk to me so I've been reading so much more like reading every chance I get instead of scrolling through Facebook or Twitter. I feel smarter already, I don't like it. <laughs> Everybody, it is like five hours later. We had lunch, it was delicious. We went back to the hotel and we fell asleep. Oh, oh. Now we're on our way to our friend's house for dinner and yeah, nice. <laughs> mm, yeah, mm, nice. <laughs> You're exposing me. Maybe I should just cut this part. <laughs> Nice little Sunday dinner with friends, and that's all that's going on. It's a very chill Sunday. Back in the hotel room. This is my stash for tonight. She's pregnant! Stop saying that. You're gonna start rumors. I'm not. We're gonna put on a movie and snack and cuddle and that is all for the vlog i think i'm merging this into two days so i hope i hope you guys are okay with like 
yeah just bear with me while i'm here in hong kong everything will go back to normal soon but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you good night Don't take it